What's up people, welcome to your 42nd Java tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over a built-in method that Java has it's called the toString method and I'm going to show you guys what it is and why it's useful and we're also going to be building part of a bigger program um, this is probably going to be a two-part tutorial so um, pay attention and it's going to be sweet so the first thing that we're going to need to do is get three um, variables and they're all going to be private and they're going to be month, day, and year. So private int month. And just go ahead and copy and paste that. Take advantage of our laziness. Control V, Control V, int day, and private int year. So now we have three variables right there. So let's go ahead and do something with them. The first thing that we're going to want to do is build this pot pie. Again, you can see them on the pot pie class. So I'm going to build the PopPy constructor. So go ahead, public, and just go PopPy. And it's going to take three arguments. It's going to take int m for month, int d for day, and int y for year. Again, you can name these anything you want, not important. But remember to set your variables, which were your private variables, like month, equal to whatever you uh, corresponding letter. I just put MD and Y for obvious reasons. So that private day variable is going to be set to whatever we pass in for D. And that private Y is going to be set to whatever we pass in for Y. So now we got our constructor, but we want our constructor to do one more thing. We want it to print out a string. So, and we just want it to uh, print out so it can know, so we can know that our constructor worked or didn't work make sure you put an equal sign right there so let's go ahead and system out printf we can just uh, print format and I already started filling them in for us so let's go ahead and print out a string so let's put um, come on Haas let's put the structure make sure you spell it wrong for this is and then we'll go ahead and put percent s and that means string and then go ahead and put a new line if you feel like it if you don't feel like it you know you don't gotta and now as you can see right here our C style format it takes one string um, argument so in our second argument just go ahead and write this and when we write this what it means is this the keyword this what's highlighted right now this is just a reference to whatever object we just built whenever we call this class so it's gonna say alright then what the heck do you want me to put for a string well that's what we're gonna be going over in this tutorial right now anytime that you need a string representation of an object Java built this thing called a two string method so let's go ahead and write public and we're gonna be building that right now public string to string and I know most of, most of the time you can call your methods anything you want but you can't you have to say to string in this case and go ahead and it takes empty parameters and in your body of your method go ahead and return whatever format you want so return string format and then go ahead and percent go ahead and percent WTF does that mean go ahead and put this um i mean you can write it in whatever format you want but uh just follow along percent d percent d percent d that's the common date format um and that has the month day and year so the month slash day slash year slash so this is what this is going to do well let's go ahead and uh finish our tutorial and then you can probably see what it's going to do then I'll talk you through it one more time what we need to do is go ahead and create an object now and I'll call it pot pie and I'll just call it like something like pot object that pot object is not important you can name it whatever new pot pie and I know I should have like proper months and days and years but I should have four five six six seems like a good year a long time ago so now that we go ahead and create this object we should get a nice little string at the end if I didn't mess anything up 
and it says the constructor for this is 456 so now let me take you guys through exactly what I did what I did is create an object using the parameters 4, 5, 6. So let's go ahead and look what happened when I created that object. It said, all right, since the first thing I'm going to do is this constructor, I'm going to pass the parameters 4, 5, and 6. And for month was equal to 4, day was equal to 5, and year was equal, equal to 6. What the constructor also did is say, all right, every time I create an object, I want you to print out this string. But we had in the string variable, instead of an actual string, we had a reference to an object. And any time you reference an object and it needs something in the string format, it looks to this method right here. What this method says is any time you need a string representation of this object, you look to me. I'm two string. I'm built in Java. That's what I'm for. So that's why it outputted this right here. The constructor for this is 456. This is where that format 456 comes from right here. And in the next tutorial, if this seems uh, kind of confusing, I'll show you guys a useful way why two string is actually used and not only, you know, it might be a little confusing to understand. I mean, this is just an example. It doesn't really do anything. But in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys um, like one example where we would actually need it and use it. But for now, hopefully you get the main idea. Again, the key points is um, the probably two things you're going to be confused upon is this. I mean, what's highlighted right now. Anytime you use that keyword, this, it's a reference to the current object. So it's going to say, all right, just reference the current, uh, the current object. So it implies that it needs a string. So since it needs a string, it says, all right, I need a string here. It says, oh, I see. That's why he gave me this two string method. So anytime I need a string, I know where to look. So makes sense. And if it doesn't, it will in the next tutorial. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you understand the basics of a two string method. And don't forget to name it two string. That's very important. So again, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next tutorial.